Good morning. Welcome to a very snowy December 10th, 2012. This, of course, is the morning forecast discussion as of 8.52 a.m. And we have some heavy snow moving into the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Temperatures range from the lower to mid 30s along the coast, upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior. Pretty much this will be our high temperatures for today as temperatures will either be holding steady or falling as the cold air pushes into the region. We have moderate to heavy snowfall throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. And if it's not snowing yet in your location, it will very shortly and very, very quickly. Here's the latest radar. And as you can see right now here, it is loading. Uh, we have very heavy precipitation starting to form from south, basically from Maryland all the way up through New York City. And this heavy precipitation is going to intensify for the next several hours producing snowfall rates of, of at least one inch per hour, especially focused from central New Jersey on back through the Philadelphia metropolitan area, where snowfall amounts will range from three to six inch, inches, but could easily exceed over six inches in some locations. So it's certainly going to be a very stormy and very snowy uh, morning throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. On the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see the intense lifting starting to develop over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. You see these bright yellow clouds here. That means that the cloud tops are rising and that lifting is extending back towards Virginia. And this will continue to reload until this disturbance exit, exits the region. Here's the water vapor satellite picture. Now, this is really important to keep an eye on. This strong disturbance right here is the polar disturbance. And we have the subtropical disturbance here. They're starting to interact. And that interaction over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, over the northern and southern mid-Atlantic, will produce and will continue to produce very heavy precipitation over the region. And we're going to see an apex of that heavy precipitation around 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. right over the northern mid-Atlantic. And I'll show you exactly what the model guides are showing. This is using the RAP model guides, which, by the way, has been doing a spectacular job since last night of illustrating exactly what's going to be going on here. So we have the moderate to heavy snowfall move in. You can see the first wave moving through the region right now. And then by this evening, by this afternoon, should I say, let's say between, let's say from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we're going to get very heavy snowfall develop basically right over Long Island, back towards central New Jersey, just to the south of New York City, and then back towards the Philadelphia metro, the heaviest snow just to the south and east of Philadelphia. So if you're in southwest New Jersey, if you're in central New Jersey, if you're in Long Island, look for a band of intense snowfall to develop in these locations. There will be the potential for, I know I don't say this a lot, Thunder snow. Let me show you why. This should just take one second here. We'll go to clickable. Okay. We'll go to this time period and we're going to click over central New Jersey. And this is really cool. Right on the fly here. Figure I'd just throw this up here. Okay. See this sounding right here? And this is right over central New Jersey, as you can see. When you see this type of sounding, where temperatures are much colder at a loft than they are at the surface, let's say this is about 35 degrees, what this is telling me here is that you have a highly unstable atmosphere, much colder temperatures aloft. This leads to rapidly rising air, very heavy snowfall as a result. And so you end up with what's called convective snowfall. And so that convective snowfall with very cold temperatures aloft leads to a dynamic where you have basically more electrons in the atmosphere and you support the potential for lightning. Thus, the potential for thunder snow, which is going to be just showing up clearly in this forecast moving forward. So, this is the latest snowfall map which I put out last night and basically Far northern locations, northern Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, back towards northeastern Pennsylvania to north of Scranton, basically one to three inches. Most of you, most of you are just going to see an inch or two. That's about it. It'll accumulate fast, but that's about it. 
a little bit further south and west towards uh, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Pottsville, uh, back towards uh, cent East Central uh, Pennsylvania, and up towards Central Connecticut, right around Hartford. Look for anywhere from two to four inches of snow. It'll come through fast, it'll come through heavy, but uh, the bulk of the heaviest snowfall will be to the south of you. Then, over much of the New York City metropolitan area, much of New Jersey, almost all of New Jersey, and much of southeastern Pennsylvania, look for three to six inches of snow in general. Where that heavy mesoscale banding sets up, which right now I'm pinpointing central New Jersey, let's say from Monmouth County on south through Atlantic County, back to the west towards the Philadelphia metro, uh, that's where we're going to see the potential for snowfall accumulation to push over six inches potentially if that heavy band sets up. And then finally, over eastern Long Island, you start off as a bit of a rain-snow mix, quickly change over to snow, but it's going to be moving quickly, and the best dynamics will be to the south of this area of Long Island, so looking at one to four inches of snow in general. After this storm leaves, hey, I don't get much of a break, Arctic high pressure will be in control for the rest of the week with temperatures basically ranging from the upper teens to lower 20s for lows and upper 20s to mid 30s for highs. So it's going to be pretty chilly, pretty brutal out there. Then for this weekend, I don't trust this idea of just a pure rainstorm with this storm. We've seen this before, and we've seen this Cating signature before. Fool me once, that's on you. Fool me twice, that's on me. So I'm going to keep an eye on this storm. I think we're going to see more of a wintry mix with this setup than what the model guidance is currently showing. And the ensemble uh, European model guidance is kind of hinting that as well. The storm redevelops off the coast, uh, basically off the New Jersey coast by about 50 miles. Eventually, the New Jersey coast should change over to rain. Keep an eye on the interior, though, with this storm as it moves out on Sunday. And then high pressure will be in control on Monday and Tuesday with Arctic high pressure in control. And then we'll have to watch out another storm, potentially, for Wednesday night. So, clearly, we're dealing with a very active winter weather pattern moving forward. And it's going to continue to remain very interesting and very active as we head on through mid-December and towards late December. Told you it's going to be cold and stormy. That's your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. I'll have live coverage of the upcoming storm. The storm is happening right now, right outside my window, uh, throughout the day as, we, as developments continue to unfold. Of course, you can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a great day, and please stay safe out there.